Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing work permits in the context of CR1 or IR1 visas. So generally speaking, we see spousal visas processed here at our firm through the embassy. These are spousal visas. These are spouses of United States citizens looking to go into the United States as immigrants. So they are immigrant visa holders and upon arrival, they are actually granted an I-551 stamp, which grants them lawful permanent residence at the time of entry. Now, in the case of the CR-1, that's conditional lawful permanent residence. In the case of the IR-1, it's unconditional lawful permanent residence. But more to the point, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this up on screen. This is a screenshot, apparently it's from Fox News, but I've seen it floating around the ether of the internet in the context of folks talking about US immigration policy especially regarding the so-called border crisis, the crisis at the border where we've got people just sort of streaming in across the border. There was a time when I kind of viewed people who said this to be somewhat hyperbolic. I don't think there's any question about this. I've seen footage of Elon Musk down there. I've seen other footage from other folks. Look, at the end of the day, there's a real problem at the U.S. southern border. I don't think anybody can deny that. But apparently the present administration's one of their quote unquote solutions for this is to provide work authorization to all of these illegal entrants to the United States. Now, the question posed by this video as it pertains to immigrant spouse visas is, is there any type of work authorization that's required in order for the holder of a CR1 or an IR1 visa to work in the United States after arrival? And I bring this up because in the context of the K1 fiance visa, yes, that is a non-immigrant visa as well as the K3 for that matter. And those visas do require work authorization. They do not have inherent work authorization associated with them. That is not the case in the case of the CR1 or the IR1 visa. Those visas have inherent work authorization inherent to them. And again, upon entry to the United States, once stamped in, that person is considered a lawful permanent resident, either conditional or unconditional, depending on the length of the marriage as of the time of the entry to the United States. So the thing to understand is, it's really not an issue, the issue of work authorization or work permit, when you're talking about immigrant spouse visas, IR1 or CR1, because those folks enter with lawful permanent residence. In essence, they are green carded, if you will, from the moment they enter. 